So this week we're reviewing the Fung Tang Lines Main IPA. <laughs> I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Hi, if we haven't met before, my name's Dan. Welcome to Vegan Alcohol Free Reviews. Check out my channel trailer to find out what makes a lot of alcohol and alcohol free drinks non-vegan friendly. You'll be quite surprised. And there's also a little bit about me and my journey in there. So without further ado, let's get into this week's drink. Now, I just recorded this video, but didn't have, have the sound switched on. So I've already opened it. I've already put, poured it into a glass. What can I say? I'll go back over basically what I was saying. Let me just put that back down. On the back, uh, you may or may not be able to see this, but it's actually got the, it's quite dark. It's got logos basically. It's, uh, so the ingredients is hops, barley, oats, malt, yeast, lion's mane, and water. Now, I didn't know this, but lion's mane is actually a mushroom. So this is effectively a mushroom IPA. Different. From a can, I haven't tasted it from a glass yet. I noticed that the sound wasn't on at this point. But from a can, it doesn't taste any different to anything else that I've already tried. It doesn't stand out to be, yeah, unique. It's a little bit, not flat, it's very lively when you open the can. It's not flat, it's just flat on the taste buds. I wouldn't necessarily say watery, but it hasn't got your traditional beer or lager sort of kick, so to speak. So I have poured it into a glass. It's still lively, it's still going. I've yet to taste it, so let's, let's try. It's much better from a glass, much better. I usually prefer drinks from a can. Maybe because, I don't know, I'm crazy, but I, I feel like there's, you get a better taste when you open a drink from a can, especially like with Coca-Cola, who aren't sponsoring this video. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, if they were? But from a glass, this is, yeah, this is much better. It's not fantastic. You won't see me singing from the rooftops. It's praises, but um, it's a lot better from a glass than it is, it is from a can. I won't drink too much of it at this moment. But on the back, it basically says, yeah, it's vegan. It's gluten-free, serve cold, and please recycle. I must admit, I like the packaging. The packaging is really good. It's it's got like a plastic film to it on, on the outside, so it's not it's not just been printed onto the can. There's like a, a plastic kind of covering. But yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not bad. Personally, I wouldn't rush out to buy it. I have had better. Check out this video here uh, on the nanny state from Brewdog. That's probably still my favorite or left that they also do a nice alcohol free version a special thanks to kate lizzie from tametipple.co.uk for sending this to me um, check out the link in the description below and you'll get a discount they offer vegan and gluten-free drinks and snacks deliveries next day delivery it's just amazing you know if if you're planning for a party and you've forgotten your drinks you've got them the next day any dealings I have had with their company has just been really good. I can't praise them enough, and I obviously can't thank them enough for sending this to me for me to review. That's effectively it, a short but sweet review this week, primarily because I'd already done some of the recording without the sound on, like an absolute wally that I am. Check out this video here to find out if I like it more or less than the Fung Tung. I'm <laughs> sure that's how you pronounce it. If you enjoy this content and you wanna see me review more alcohol-free drinks on a weekly basis, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.